G'day screwdrivers, this is Guardian Oz. Um, the reason to make this particular video, uh, screwdrivers is a new game that comes out. As you can see by the vehicle in front of me, it looks like Lego Technic, uh, sort of bars you add together, engines in the front, wheels, suspension. Um, but one thing about the game that um, isn't apparent, but once you start mucking around it is, is the direction of the gears doesn't matter. Um, it says the engines at the front, the arrows say the car goes forward. It doesn't matter what rotational direction your gears are doing. Um, it will just work it out and say, yeah, that's good enough and it will work. So it's not a very super specific way. It's a bit light on for that. But the reason to build this video is in the car behind me, the drive shaft that from the motor is at the bottom and the gear relational drive or the drive that goes to the wheels is at the top. And then what I've used is some gearing to get it down to the back wheels, or um, in this case. But if I also wanted to, I could extend the bar forward and then bring it down and make it four-wheel drive, which I haven't done. So I'll just clean off this part, the drive shaft, just so you get an idea. And the reason to do this is for myself, I was trying to work out, um, I had a, had a car and I built it and the three-speed gearbox didn't seem sequential, it just seemed to jump to this large gear really quickly and I was having trouble working wide. And what you need to do inside your gearbox is add an extra little bit of um, gear to make this small one go up to um, like four studs high because two mediums is um, four, a large and a small is four. Um, so basically when we're looking at this, um, the low gear is at the back. So when the drive shaft spins, this small wheel, this large one takes a long time to go around. So from the small drive shaft wheel up to this medium one, it'll take a shorter time, but it's still slower than the drive shaft itself. Then this one in the middle is drive shaft to drive shaft, so the rotation is the same. So this is the RPM of your engine. And then this one is making a large cog go to a small one, which makes it faster and the highest speed in this particular cog setup is the large one to the small one. So I hope that sort of makes sense to everybody. You've only got the three sizes, but this is how they go together. So the large one to a small one, uh, medium to two small ones to get the connected to the drive shaft, uh, two, the two medium ones to make one for one uh, gear ratio, and then the medium to small makes faster, and then the large to small makes it extra fast. So in the car to have a look at how that all works the game has a thing called a gear shift and it moves the cogs itself but in relation to that wall the reason why we've got to do it in this particular direction for my build is this gear shaft activates first but it's connected to this one in here but when we move the gear shift that would now disconnect the rear set of um, gears for us um, making us uh, enabling us to get to our five speeds. So we've got the small one, big one, the two small ones in there. Um, this doesn't have a camera or a, a, like a zoom mode, uh, so I have to do it sort of manually. So the, and there's the, the small, and then this small cog, when it moves across, it moves across to this position. So that's our second gear. Third gear is when this one finally catches up. So you can see it's got one, two, it's got from where it is, it's got to move one position and then the second one. So let's have a look at that. So it's in currently in its low gear, medium low, straight drive. So that's the same as the engine RPM. And then this one, when it moves for the first time, disconnects the rear gear shifter and activates that first cog. And then when our next gear happens, it's the high speed. So I'll show you this vehicle. Um, I've put just some extra weight on it to move the center of mass. This needs aerodynamics and it needs lots of other stuff to make it a viable car. Um, but it was mainly to show the, um, the gear arrangement. And what I've um, done is I've made the engine RPM um, from a medium gear to a small gear, like our gearbox, um, to give us a little bit of extra speed. Um, because when I had it as one-to-one -one direct drive, it was too slow. It was... Um, doing burnouts in first, second and third gear. So we uh, <laughs> really needed to have the adjustment. Uh, but in order to do the adjustment, my drive shaft is at the bottom and my engine is forward. 
So to actually add a gear in here, um, the, the way to do it is I've got to go up, match the profile, come down and then get back onto the drive shaft. Um, because, yeah, just <laughs> how it works. So I could either put the engines in the air and then reverse the whole gearbox and move the car and flip it all over and get it to work that way, um, or do what I've done. Um, there is, uh, in the game, this planetary gear, but this is actually takes um, three blocks across in order to do the 2.3 ratio change, which could have helped me here, but it's actually one block bigger than this. And this game doesn't have any uh, friction issues or any, um, you know, it's, if, if I was making this out of Lego with so many years, there'd be some friction and lag and it, it just wouldn't be um, yeah, super good. But in this game, it doesn't matter. Also, it doesn't matter what direction it's rotating, so it just, it just works. So I'll give the car a quick lap show you guys what it, oh, hang on, before I do that, um, uh, in the game, we've got this X option in the corner, which is the grass top left corner, and it will show us what the car looks like, and what have I got wrong, uh, what's missing, Ah, oh, because I got this extra wall piece. Because <laughs> I got the wall, it's saying it's not connected to wheels, right? Um, I have a version of this saved without the wall in it. Let me check this is the right one. Yes, this is the car without the wall saved in it. This is the one we're going to drive. Um, oh, I've spotted when I was playing with this car that this engine has room for two of these capacitor things. So I'll stick one on. This could be quite wild as a car. Alrighty, um, so anyway, X is what our car now looks like. So we're running 200, well, max speed, theoretical, 240. We're running 221 horsepower. That's with four turbocharged, I don't know what size the petrol engine is, and the large blue electric motor. So 44 meters per second, which is pretty good. Grip, mass, wind resistant, and aero. We don't have any aero on it. So our wind resistance is also pretty small because we're uh, low profile. Uh, but the main thing is the um, the RPM graph and our gear speed. So we're going to change the gears at 40, and then we're going to change gears at like 70, and then we're going to go through the gears and eventually we get to a, a long wind out gear and our top speed of uh, 240 is this line is when the electric engine runs out and this is the RPM of the petrol engine finding medium's max. So let's uh, drive this. Um, as I said before, it um, doesn't have any arrow on it and it's um, just basically configured to be a demo car. Uh, that's what I'm looking at is the RPM on the tachometer in the bottom corner and our speed and our speed so in this game when you first start this game um, to put it in uh, reference 125 kilometers an hour is actually a quick car um, so this is ridiculous so the corners of the tracks are really tight so doing anything faster than an hour in our top speeds are in fifth speed now and I'm not going to do this this is pretty quick for this game um, and the, the car tracks straight. But if I'm trying to knock it up, we're, we're, we're drifting a tail of an hour. This, this car is skating and skating. So you can see that these tracks are quite tight. So this, this car without any aero is uh, very challenging to drive. Let's see if we can go through this time. So, uh, anyway, I love this game. I love the fact that you get to drive when you're built. And um, some of those noises and that sort of stuff are very satisfying. But best part, let's see if I can. Looking, 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 looking. I need, to I need to have a crash for you guys. You've got you to see a crash. Let's get back down to that straight. Satisfaction guaranteed. And definitely what happens to your Lego models when you drop them off the table. Uh, anyway, catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.